So Amazon pulled a big whoop when they unveiled everything today at their event with all the hardware and software updates to Alexa. So today's episode, we're not going to talk a lot about Google or Samsung or any other companies. We're going to focus heavily on Amazon, on everything they have unveiled and something that I wish they would finally unveil, but who knows? So stay tuned. What is up everybody, Michael here, welcome back to Technoid, and guys, I hope you're having an excellent day. So far for me, I'm having an eh day. Uh, I got a test tomorrow, and I spent more time studying for accounting than macroeconomics, so wish a brown man luck. Yeah! <laughs> but also, I filmed this video once, and the coloring was just weird, so I decided to refilm this in the proper color orientation. So this will be a second take, but I'm still going to break down everything. It may go a little fast, but I'm going to break down everything as best I can. I hope you guys are having a great day. So let's stop talking. Let's get right into story one, the main story, the whole topic of the show, Amazon's event. So Amazon came out and released so many new products that they're adding to their lineup of the Alexa lineup. Now, Alexa is known as one of the best assistants on the market. You have Alexa, the Google Assistant, Siri, and if you want to throw her in Bixby. <clears throat> Sorry guys. So today they unveiled some new Echo products. So the first one up of the day, before we get to the big ones, let's focus on software. So software, they talked about the Amazon Alexa herself. Basically, it will be more conversational. It'll help with follow-ups. It will be more on task of your daily natural habits and everything that you do. And also, if you pay 99 cents, you can unlock AI voices like Samuel Jackson and a couple of other celebrities and other things that they're showing. So Alexa's being more friendly. Also with them, they're also releasing some updates to Alexa to help with you know your routines and mailing, ring, uh, packages, and everything else. So it's nice to see Alexa get some updates, but I really hope they emphasize security, but uh, yeah, we'll never get that. <clears throat> so next up, let's talk about future products. So future products, they didn't focus too heavily on, but they talked about a smart oven, which is supposed to be a follow-up to their microwave, which is still baffling, but okay. Um, they also talked about an Alexa ring, which is kind of weird. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that one. And then they talked about Wi-Fi, about how they will have your products work even out of Wi-Fi. So you'll be able to still access your uh, stuff like your lights, Alexa's uh, echoes and all that kind of stuff. But the main topic of the show was the hardware. Now, before we talk about the two big ones, Let's talk about the other products. So they released a dot with a clock. <laughs> a dot with a clock. That sounds like a Dr. Seuss rhyme. And also a little glow, an echo glow, which is basically just a little lamp there with Alexa in it. It's not meant to be, I guess, speaker or whatever. I, I don't know, but it's pretty cheap. So, but the main point of the show was the Echo Show and the Echo Buds. Let's take a look at the Echo Show. The Echo Show is basically Amazon's answer to Apple's HomePod. Their fully immersive sound uh, speaker that not only is Alexa enabled, as you know, but it is in high performance audio. So this is basically what the HomePod should have been. A pr well priced smart speaker with a well established assistant with well established audio. They are focusing heavily on audio. Just like how Apple prioritized audio, they are going in and basically going to knock on the door, basically pull a knock knock bring down the door or some other how that song goes or something I don't know. I, I don't know. It's like knock knock open up the door or something like that. But still, Amazon is basically going to say, "Hey Apple, this is what we can do." Now, the Echo Show uh, looking at the specs, it will have a woofer at the bottom with some tweeters around. It will have a 3D sounding effect to it enable Dolby Atmos. So it's not exactly Dolby Atmos, but it will give you the feeling that you are listening to Dolby Atmos. It will be all about clarity, bass, and emphasis on clarity. That is their main priority. So you can hear it and it sounds nice. So this will be priced at $199, and for $199, that's a bargain. With what Amazon has been able to do with sound quality, even on the Echo Plus and the Echoes, they're pretty good sounding. Now, to be fair with Apple, the HomePod is the best sounding smart speaker on the market. While it's not the best one, it is the best sounding. And I give props to Apple's sound team because they are probably my 
personal favorite department of Apple. If I had to pick a department to work for, I'd work for the music department because Apple is known for audio. With the exception of the AirPods and the EarPods, everything that they do, the iPhones, the iPads, the MacBooks, and even the HomePod itself, all those devices have great sounding audio. And I gotta give credit where credit is due. Their music department is nice. So if there's anything I will defend Apple on is their audio department because Apple was known for audio, iTunes, and now that they have Beats, which is a little debatable, but still, you get where I'm going. But Amazon is coming in and going, pop, pop, bang, steal. I, I don't know, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm weird with the catchphrases today. But anyway, Echo Show 199, that is gonna change some roofs. I'm hoping to check it out and see how it sounds. But the next product that I'm eagerly awaiting also is the Echo Buds. Now the Echo Buds is a answer not only to the AirPods, but to Samsung's Galaxy Buds and a couple of other uh, earphones out there in the market. <coughs> Sorry guys, I, I know I do that a lot, but I don't know what's happening in my throat. But anyway, it will have premium sound. It will have a good isolation to fit your ear along with Bose's noise technology to help reduce the noise, not noise canceller, noise uh, reduction. So it will help reduce the noise, which is probably just a seal. It is customizable. It has five hours on each earbud and has a 20 hour battery case, which is pretty good. So that's a total of 25 hours and fast charging. And it is also friendly with any other assistant besides Alexa. Now that is priced at 129, which I don't think is a bad price. I think that's a great price range. It definitely is less expensive than Apple's AirPods and is about the same as Galaxy Buds. But if Amazon really wanted to take that section or pricing, they could have lowered it by $10 and then you could argue it's $10 cheaper or something like that. But Amazon's making their own buds and I'm also interested to try those out. Now all this sounds well. Amazon's got their whole ecosystem built up. They've got everything, but there's something missing. Hmm something I can't put my finger on that would make everything come together. Hmm. Oh, I know, a smartphone. Amazon, where is your smartphone? <clears throat> now I get it, look, Amazon tried to make a smartphone a few years back. It didn't work out so well because of the software and the hardware they were using, and not a lot of people bought it, and as a result, they discontinued it, and it stopped receiving support. But a lot has changed in the years that you know they've done that. The smartphone market has grown, there are more competitors out there, and mostly the designs of smartphones are becoming so much better that I could see Amazon throwing their hat in the ring again. Because look, it's one thing to say, yeah, it was a big fail or it didn't work out the way they wanted. But honestly, looking at what Amazon has, Fire OS, which they could still improve because Android is a little more open now, so you can now develop a little bit better operating system. The specs definitely would be need to be better if they were to make a smartphone. And having an Alexa enabled smartphone would be great. You can use the app, which is not a problem at all. The app is fine, but it would make more sense to have a product like that. Because then look what would happen. You have Alexa smartphones. You have Alexa smart watches if you were to expand. You now have speakers. You have, basically they have everything set up. Their ecosystem would just be like the candle on the cake. That would be their perfect achievement because they have everything good and ready to go. I would love to see an Alexa smartphone and that would be awesome. They don't have to do, you know, go too premium. They can make an LCD or even an AMOLED a smartphone, price it within $700, $800, give good specs, good camera. Hey, people will buy it. And Amazon alone is like the biggest name in America right now, from Alexa to shopping to everything. They own a piece of everything. And it's only a matter of time before they try to re-enter the smartphone territory. So for me, I wish they would do it. I don't know why they're holding back so much, but it would be interesting to see them do that. So I am hoping that they definitely do try to make a smartphone. And that's everything for Amazon's event. So what were my thoughts? Well, besides everything else that they unveiled, I think the two takeaways are the show and the buds. Those two are the big spotlight of the show. And I think Amazon is going to do so, so well. It's no question. They're gonna do fine. I just wish they would make a smartphone. And to Apple, you better answer back because you overpriced the HomePod. It's at $299. Nobody's buying it. Look at what Amazon did for $199. Hopefully that thing sounds nice and it sounds better than the HomePod, but something tells me it may not, but just by a little bit. But I'm hoping to see reviews and stuff. But Apple, you better answer back. You need to stop trying to expect what people will buy because $350 was not the price. $299 is not the price. And it has shown that average consumers care more about the assistant 
and care more about that than the audio quality that you were trying to do. So make a smaller HomePod and more affordable HomePod and a portable HomePod even because hell, they got Alexa Portable Echo. So it's time for you to start throwing your hat in there and start grabbing some market share. Time for you to step up and stop going. Look what you did with the iPhones. Time to do it with HomePod. And that is it for Technoid. Guys, I know this episode was all about Amazon, but I promise I will mix it up in the next video. So that is it for the event. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think Amazon should be making a smartphone? If you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. Thank you for watching and peace.